Hi there guys this is Manas Patnaik your friend and tutor this time around we're going to be dealing with projection of planes and the object that i've picked up is in fact a pentagonal plane so guys i've already done a tutorial on pentagonal plane projection but this time around the stipulations and conditions are going to be slightly different so let's see what the problem has in store for us here it comes a regular pentagonal plane abcde of 40 mm side has side ab in the hp making an angle of 15 degree with the vp the plane makes an angle of 50 degrees with the hp and the point d lies in the vp draw the projections of this plane my goodness whole lot of vps hps are there in this problem let's sort them out one by one so we have this uh, object in front of us in the form of a pentagonal plane 40 mm side all of the, all the sides are 40 mm each in fact and you know very well that the, all of these internal angles are 108 degrees each now secondly uh, let's move further we have this condition side ab in the hp and corner d in the vp so we, we've got to make sure that all these conditions reflect perfectly in the final drawing all right let's move ahead and guys whenever you are doing construction for projection of planes try to work out uh, by reading the problem as to what the surface inclination is and it's clearly given that the in surface is inclined at an angle of 50 degrees with the hp so theta surface or theta plane is equal to 50 degrees secondly we have this 15 degrees 15 okay so the side which is in the hp let's say this is a this is b and this will always be in contact with the horizontal plane apart from that it is also inclined at an angle of 15 degree with the vertical plane so phi ab or phi edge ab is equal to 15 degrees all right so guys these this is all the data that i have extracted from the problem and now in the next section i'll be giving you a demonstration as to how the object has been really kept with respect to hp and vp on all sorts of uh, these conditions 50 degree 15 degree and side ab in the hp and corner d in the vp all of them will be discussed in detail so guys stay tuned because it's going to be very important to see the live demonstration let's see how it goes So guys this over here is the object under consideration you can see clearly see that this is a pentagonal plane and the first condition that we have been given is that the object has one edge in the hp ab edge in the horizontal plane always then there is this condition second uh, in the form of surface inclination the surface inclination to us has been given as 50 degrees so something like this all right it's going to be something like this so when you incline the surface one thing that you need to make sure is that this angle over here now you guys are looking at this from the top let me give you a perspective you guys are watching this entire scenario in unfolding in front of you from the top so this is the angle 50 degrees all right and at the same time this edge is still in contact with the horizontal plane so what we going to do is if the surface is inclined to the horizontal plane slam the entire surface onto the horizontal plane and just think about this from where you can see the true shape of this entire surface guys one thing is for sure that the true shape of the surface can only be seen from the top and hence in step number 1 you've got to begin by making the top view first and then accordingly its front view is going to be made which in fact is going to be a line like this okay from this point to this point single line all right so this was all about step number 1 guys and in step number 2 we've got to incline the surface that we usually do in projection of planes so it's going to be looking something like this All right so this is going to be step number 2 where what we're going to do is we're going to incline the surface at an angle of 50 degrees 50 50 degrees with the horizontal plane so this is step number 2 all right and then finally in step number 3 we have to make sure that the edge which is in the hp so this edge is still in the hp is going to make some angle with the vertical plane that angle has been given to us as 15 degrees 15 15 degrees all right so it's going to be looking something like this 15 degrees okay If you if you watch this 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 is the edge which is in the HP and if you extend this towards the XY line you're going to find that the angle made over here is going to be 15 degrees at the same time one more thing that is going to happen simultaneously is that this end D this is A B this is C this is D this end D has to be in contact with the vertical plane so let us say that this uh, apart from making this 15 degree angle we have a vertical plane over here all right and it is something like this it is in contact with the vertical plane so it is uh, this position in step number 3 that we have got to make its top view and its front view all right guys so that was all about the demonstration of this particular question so let's head over now to drawing sheets i'll head over to powerpoint to explain you how all these things can be implemented let's get started man 
all right guys now that you've seen the demonstration and for step number one we're going to be assuming that the object is entirely that this plane is entirely resting on the horizontal plane in such a case the true shape or the true shape of the surface rather it's going to be evident from the top and hence we have to begin by making the top view first all right so i've made this line okay this ab all right 40 mm long line and this distance can be taken as anything at any convenient distance okay you can take it as 10 mm you can take this as 20 mm whatever you like but don't uh, increase the distance keep it less okay so moving ahead we have these uh, so-called internal angles anti-clockwise from this over here and clockwise from this over here 40 mm each we've made the line and these are the points c and e and finally we're going to have point d over here okay something like this so this is going to be point d so the top view is over and now we're going to look at this object from the front. Now, since it is entirely resting on HP, its front view will lie on this XY line, something like this. Let me have the projector lines. This is going to be point A comma B. This is C comma E, and this is going to be D. And let's have a line joining all these points. So that's step number one for you, where we assume that the surface of this plane was resting entirely on the horizontal plane. Step number two, what we need to do is we need to incline the surface. Now, surface has been inclined at an angle of 50 degrees 50 so initially what we'll do is we need to make sure that this a dash b dash this a b should be in contact with this horizontal plane all right so we're going to make sure while making this front view at an angle of 50 degrees that this a dash b dash remains in contact with this x y line okay so let's have a point and this is going to be a dash b dash let's have an angle of 50 degrees and let's draw a line something like this all right now this d point you need to take uh, keep the two legs of your compass one over here other over here then with this guy as center you need to put an arc and this is going to be point d dash for you similarly keep one leg over here other leg over here then with this guy as center you need to put an arc over here and this is going to be point c dash comma e dash now let's have a look at this condition from the top okay so we'll have the projector lines down below and we'll have the projector lines from the left hand side all right something like this they're going to be intersecting at different points and this vertical is for a and b so this is the horizontal for a so this is going to be point a this is going to be point b and similarly the remaining points can be worked out very easily all right and after working them out uh, they should look something like this and when you join all these points in proper sequence you're going to have this pentagon you can clearly see the difference between these two pentagons this is the apparent top view and this is the absolute top view you can see in this top view you see the true shape of this pentagon. This top view represents the apparent top view. All right, a squeezed up pentagon sort of. All right, so step two is also done. And we have this condition number three, which is extremely important and slightly confusing also. Condition number three says that this edge AB, which is already in contact with the horizontal plane, should make a certain angle with VP. Fine. What is that angle? That angle is equal to 15 degree 15. At the same time, simultaneously, we have this corner D and we need to make sure that this corner D is in absolute contact with the vertical plane. I mean, how are we going to do that? Well, we can accomplish that pretty easily, guys. Uh, follow the steps and it's going to be super cool for you. And let's have a point. Say this is going to be point D. Okay. So we're going to make sure that this point D lies on this X, Y line. And if the top view of this corner D lies on X, Y line, then one thing is for sure that corner d is in the vertical plane all right so this is going to be point d for you fine let's move ahead now remember this funda which i am telling you right now or note it down rather if edge a b and this d line line passing through this please see where my mouse is hovering you can clearly see that a b and this line over here passing through d both of them are at right angles to each other so let's say this edge AB makes a certain angle phi, okay? Then this is going to make an angle of 90 minus phi. According to the question, the angle that this AB is going to make is given as 15 degrees, all right? So this line over here is going to make 90 minus 15 degrees and it's going to work out as 75 degrees. So what I'll do is, I'll make a line over here, this line, you can see, at an angle of 75 degrees, something like this over here all right and then you can clearly see this line i have drawn over here at an angle of 75 degrees okay next thing to do is guys is to keep your mini drafter over here one scale of your mini drafter over here then eventually the other scale will be absolutely perpendicular to this one 
and when you try to draw a line from that scale it is going to end up somewhere here all right and this line is eventually going to make a certain angle and that should that must work out as 15 degrees let's see right so this is how you need to place your 15 degrees all right otherwise it's going to be very difficult for you to recreate this figure making sure that this edge ab also makes 15 degree angle and this d also comes into contact with this xy line now both of both these conditions simultaneously are going to be very difficult for you so this is uh, my way of uh, comprehending this problem my way of approaching this problem all right let's move ahead <coughs> so d is done okay now we're going to locate these points a and b so we are somewhere along this line this line so let's have an arc from this point to this point from this point to this point all right something like this this is going to be a and towards the right let's have an arc this is going to be b now i am in need of this point point e what am i going to do i'll keep one leg of my compass here other leg over here then with, again with a as center i'll put an arc all right putting an arc is not enough you need the intersection point what am i going to do with that so let's have another arc in the form of let's say we have this uh, keep we keep one leg over here other leg over here then with d as the center i'm again going to put an arc all right something like this and this is going to be my intersection point so this is going to be point e for you now guys the same process has to be repeated towards this side also and this is going to give you point c all right and let's join all the points in sequence so that we can have this recreated uh pentagon over here all right you can clearly see that this uh, ab is making 15 degree angle and at the same time this corner d is in the vp so let's look at this entire scenario from the front okay and let's have the projector lines from down to top and from left to right they're going to intersect all right so these are the intersection points and when all these intersection points are joined in sequence we get this as our final front view so guys that was all from my side if you like the content and presentation in this video do give it a big thumbs up and if you believe that this video has added value to your knowledge of engineering drawing then do recommend this channel to your friends and classmates so that all of us can learn drawing in a beautiful way so guys this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day and keep drawing